pen really is mightier than the sword when it comes to stationary-induced injuries. Every year, there are thousands of desktop disasters with substantial numbers stapling or hole-punching themselves, while elastic bands harm over 600 individuals. And pens and pencils are simply a medical menace, hospitalising substantial numbers. It's a myth that pencil lead or ink will poison you. The lead is in fact graphite, which is relatively non-toxic, as are the dyes, pigments and solvents that make up ink. But it does, of course, depend on how much you swallow. <laughs> Nevertheless, always avoid chewing your implements. The gnawing produces saliva and, combined with gulping air, leads to a build-up of gas and ultimately trapped wind. And because we use them for a plethora of tasks, our writing tools are riddled with germs, which can cause infections. Never walk or run with stationery. A careless slip could result in a serious injury. In 2007, a 55-year-old German lady who'd suffered nosebleeds and headaches her whole life had a pencil removed from her brain. That's his nicht word. Surprisingly, the unsafest stationery is paper, responsible for over 8,000 admissions. You're most likely to be damaged by the dreaded paper cut. They're so painful because of the concentration of sensory receptors in the fingers, exacerbated by the chemical coated fibres in the paper itself. And if you're watching your weight, avoid stamps. You consume almost six calories licking one. Five stamps a day for a month is the equivalent of a portion of fish and chips. But pity the postie. There are an estimated 40,000 annual accidents involving Royal Mail staff, an eighth of those animal attacks, including one in 2008 by a pet crow. Should have been a milkman.